Hello guys, here we are again at This Is How We Do It. And here we are once more uh, for the second part of the video of the cylinders that we started off in the first video. So follow along and you'll see how we're gonna put on this poly wall. Obviously I got my son ready to go, preparing, preparing everything, right boy? All right guys, so there's really two ways you can do this. You can lay down the poly wall and then start rolling it up right to the edge and then, you know, go all the way around and then cut where you need to cut. Or you can push it in this way and then do that design. And then, you know, however you wish would be best for you guys. And obviously you'll paint it and it'll look great. Okay, so you decide how you wish you wanna do it. All right guys, so after I actually rolled it up and kinda saw where we were at, I managed to make a decision to bring it in and mark it at 56. So uh, if you can see here, I got it marked, ready to go at 56, right? We'll put that back. I'll do the same thing to the other side. There it is. I'll do the same thing to the other side, one in the middle, and then we'll get our, our square here. And then we'll uh, make a line right across and cut. All right, we got it lined up. And now we're going to go ahead and mark it and cut. Here we go. We're going to start cutting. All right, guys, so after I marked it and cut at 56, I want to go ahead and also cut. We're going to make a cut here. And we're going to cut about a foot right here, okay? So from that side to this side, we're going to cut about a foot, and then we'll have the right measurement. All right, champ, so here we go. Oh, yeah, I'm calling you champ. All right, to get the... Uh, poly wall onto your stand here, your cylinder. I'm going to try to use uh, these nails here. So let's see how it goes. All right, guys, let's try. All right, team. So here we go. What I've done is I put, put the first nail there. And what I did is I'm aligning it right to whichever leg here. And I'm actually, I got the first nail there. I'm actually going to go down maybe a couple oh. inches and just put a couple right through here. And then when it goes around, remember I got, when this guy comes around, I got about maybe an inch or so of overlap and I'll nail that as well. So here we go, watch me do it. All right guys, so here's the other side. I made it nice and tight, make sure it's nice and even. Pop this guy right up in here. And we're gonna go ahead and nail that right in there. and flush and then we're going to go ahead and roll it now we got our nail here and we also have our nail on this side we're going to go ahead and roll it and then you'll see the overlap thank you all right guys you know this is not needed but i i just want to be all extra and i did overlap about an inch uh the first nail was right there here's the second nail and then i'm going to run a couple nails right through here if you, re if you remember i got a leg right there so uh and here's the other side right same thing about an inch of overlap and that'll keep it nice and tight and then this boy is going to get painted and it's going to look wonderful There you have it, guys. I wanna show you something. I did put a, net, a little bit extra support, right, uh, you know, two more here, plus the one that's inside. So that's four holding it here. And then I got, you know, uh, three, four, five here, right across, just because it's the center. Give it a little extra support. Same thing here, I got one here, one here, one here. And remind you that there is one inside as well in that, uh, in that inch gap there. Okay, this is the finished product. I'm gonna stand it up. And then uh, next thing is to paint it. If you feel like it's a little too high in some areas, you can go around the perimeter and take your take a sharp blade. Be very careful and just start cutting. I I already cut already, but you start cutting around the edges and uh, le level out. Uh, here, I'm gonna get in here in a little bit. 
but you want to cut right in there look at that perfect so there you go so i'm going to get in there in a little bit and i'll show you later but anyways just do that around the perimeter obviously everything else is leveled out after you finish with your cuts go ahead and take a little sandpaper right and just sand it down get all that sharp edging out and gone go all the way around and take care of that okay all right guys so here we are outside we're ready to paint for the paint we're going to use the uh, good old rust olimi oleum hopefully i said that right uh we want to use white obviously with semi-gloss because it makes it easier to clean after every event uh, you gotta love semi-gloss, okay? And as you can tell, I added more nails. I wanna make sure this thing is secure. We're gonna go ahead and paint that and don't worry about the nails. Once we get that paint on there, you barely see it. At least I hope so. And now we just let it dry, guys, but check it out. Once this thing's dry, it'll look nice and beautifully glossy it's already glossy i don't know if you can see it guys please hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed the two videos three videos four videos all the videos hit like and subscribe so we can keep going and making more videos for you all right guys here's the finished product we're excited about it Look how they turned out, they look wonderful. And let me show you what we can do with that. And then, folks, after you've done completing them, you can buy these wonderful covers that can just go right on them, and they look wonderful. Ready for your next event.